हे वेलकम बैक टू माई प्रोफेशनल यूट्यूब चैनल एमरजिंग ट्रेंड्स इन एच आर एंड रिक्रूटमेंट आई बिलीव माई अर्लियर सेशंस वेर इंसाइटफुल वी हैड इट ऑन वर्क फोर्स प्लानिंग वी हैड इट ऑन स्ट्रेटेजाइज सोर्सिंग एंड ऑप्टिमाइज सिलेक्शन सो टूडे लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विथ थर्ड टॉपिक इन एमरजिंग ट्रेंड्स इन एच आर एंड रिक्रूटमेंट दैट इज ग्लोबल रिक्रूटमेंट लेजिस्लेशंस here we are going to discuss about uh, various recruitment legislations or laws across the countries such as us recruitment law uk recruitment law and also uae australia and of course india so today's session is uh, thoughtful for global recruiters thank you so much for your positive responses and likes so far on my previous mm-hmm. videos Uh, your support on this helped me to conduct more sessions and uh, share the information as much as possible from my side uh, i have designed a learning pattern for any hr and recruitment professional uh, which will help them to understand uh, the latest trend in hr and recruitment uh, as per current era that is 2020 uh, we are going to learn various patterns in uh, uh, like hr and recruitment with respect to industry and uh, you can also visit our website www.spnglobe.com for uh, latest hr news feed well just to introduce myself my name is sandeep nakate i am holding almost a decade of expertise in the field of hr recruitment and talent acquisition uh, i am like uh, uh, i i graduated from in information technology engineering and mba in the field of hr uh, i am also licensed accredited in hr and uh, uh, talent acquisition from uh, world hr uh, board so today we are going to discuss about global recruitment laws see when you are a global recruiter you have to follow and understand the global recruitment laws and we are going to focus on uh, five to six major locations such as us uk uae australia and india so as you can see the legal framework is everywhere right from the determining the requirement strategic sourcing shortlisting assessment non interviewing or uh, competency based interviewing techniques or methods also in selection process and reference check you will have to follow the legal framework so mostly uh, legal framework uh, globally is uh, focusing on diversity based selection you cannot discriminate against women you cannot discriminate against older people uh, you cannot discriminate against uh, aborigines maybe in australia even if you go to india then you cannot discriminate uh, against caste right so now one of the question is yes we will have to do it all legally but the research stat shows it's not just important to do it legally sometimes it's good for the company also right so let's look uh, at some of the research examples which you can see on the screen so credit suisse has a important research point what they said was companies whose senior management teams are more than 15% female had a 5% higher return on investment so organizations who has female diversity compliance that means they have higher rate of female are doing better similarly from recruitment perspective you will have better recruitment criteria to include people from different diversities another research you can see here a research study from us that shows that uh, the ethnic minorities are going to be double in next 4 to 5 years and this is how it's going to look and uh, over the last 40 years it has been doubled that means us is becoming more and more diverse in terms of having more its panic uh, people from asia etc etc 
so companies need to do this now government is tightening these laws and very few recruitment consultants are aware of it so which is actually very dangerous right so because of this now you are potentially opening your company to losses right so there have been certain companies uh, in the us or uk who went through millions of pounds of losses because of this so you need to be aware let's see how i am going to start with uh, us laws it is most important legal framework for many reasons like uh, it is one of the older framework on which uh, many companies regulations are modeled uh, in fact most of the mnc companies tend to follow uh, us legal regulations for uh, recruitment because of uh, it's one of the tightest oldest and pretty straight so let's get into it now if you are in us then there are many laws you should be aware of like equal pay act the civil rights act age discrimination act immigration reform act and uh, americans with disabilities act all these becomes a key let's not get into the depth of each of them but yes as a recruiter or senior recruiter consultant or recruitment vendor a brief idea about these laws should be there okay so let's get started with the uh, equal pay act 1963 well uh, it gives a right to equal pay between women and men for equal work uh, it also covers individual in the same employment and uh, it also includes equality in pay and all uh, other contractual terms uh, then the civil rights act 1964 it uh, ended a segregation in public places and uh, this act banned uh, employment discrimination on the basis of race on the basis of color on the basis of religion sex or national origin it is uh, also considered as one of the crowning legislative achievements uh, of the civil rights movement then uh, age discrimination in employment act 1967 so this act uh, protects uh, certain applicants and uh, employees over 40 years of age from discrimination on the basis of age in hiring promotion discharge compensation or terms conditions or privileges of the employment then americans with uh, disabilities act 1990 so this act particularly addresses the needs of the people with disabilities and uh, it helps in prohibiting uh, the discrimination in employment discrimination in public services discrimination in public accommodations and discrimination in public uh, discrimination in telecommunication so <clears throat> yeah Uh, next is like immigration reforms and control act 1986 so purpose of this act was to amend revise and reform or reaccess the status of unauthorized immigrants set forth in the uh, immigration and nationality act uh, it required employers to attest to their employees immigration status uh, they also made it legal uh, sorry illegal to hire or recruit and uh, illegal uh, like immigrants knowingly so it uh, only legalized uh, certain seasonal agriculture undocumented immigrants now there is one more act in us laws that is fair credit reporting act that is fcra 
so this act regulates the collection of credit information and uh, access to credit reports uh, it also ensures the fairness uh, accuracy and the privacy of the personal information that contained in the files of the credit reporting agencies so primarily it governs all activities pertaining to the reporting of credit information for consumers so this act focuses on uh, uh, majorly two key two key areas number one is the protection of the credit reporting information and number two is the standards for how credit information is recorded so now uh, the uh, there is federal law in the us so under uh, federal law employers generally cannot discriminate against the employees on the basis of race sex pregnancy religion national origin disabilities right you cannot discriminate against uh, age of the workers over 40 years you cannot discriminate against military services or affiliation you cannot discriminate against bankruptcy or bank debts uh, i mean bad debts uh, you cannot discriminate against uh, genetic information you cannot discriminate against citizenship st- uh, status uh, for any citizens or for permanent resident or for temporary resident or and any refugee so now there is certain guidelines for recruiters uh, while working on the us recruitment so as per fcra that is fair credit reporting act uh, you will have to avoid uh, while asking such questions directly what you can see on the slide like how old are you are you baby boomer Uh, are you planning to have family in next 5 years do you have kids how many uh, any disabilities we should know about do you attend church regularly um, have you ever committed a crime what did it involve uh, what does your husband or wife do for living instead of asking these questions directly you can reframe it um, as per your job requirement for example if you mention employment at will clause or employment at will statement in the offer letter which you will roll out for the person in the us then uh, you can uh, directly terminate the associate with or without a reason and that to an immediate basis right so another example is if you get i9 or w4 form signed by the associate before joining the organization then that clearly shows that the associate is legally liable to work in the usa now uh, these are the some of legal questions that can be asked as per fcra like uh, how long have you been at your current address uh, what days and shifts can you work uh, are you legally eligible uh, to work in the united states how long did you stay at your last role uh, what is your current and expected ctc uh, how long do you plan on staying with us okay so these are the questions which you can ask now a task for you guys is uh, list out the questions you are allowed to ask or not allowed to ask in your area So I hope you will do it. Well guys, uh, I believe you got some brief now about uh, US recruitment legislations. So we are going to cover UK recruitment legislations, Australia recruitment legislations, UAE recruitment legislations and India recruitment legislations in my next video. So please uh, click on the subscribe button there so that you will be able to see as soon as I add these sessions on my channel. So stay safe stay healthy take care thanks for watching